it's almost like a golden rule or a bloody rule, every revolution ends up eating its own. Every messianic revolution. Think the Russian Revolution, the French Revolution, Robespierre to the guillotine. And the same is now happening with the identity politics revolution. Take what's just happened to Canada's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Now, this man, he's been a hero of the left, as woke and as sanctimonious as you could wish, a real finger wagger on, for instance, uh, gender issues. Maternal love is the love that's going to change the future of mankind. So we'd like you to look uh, we, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind, because uh, yeah. it's more inclusive. There we go, exactly. <laughs> what a prat. And naturally, Trudeau has been right into identity politics, a real race warrior, accusing people left and right, well, mainly right, of being racists and white supremacists. A small minority... Um, angry, frustrated group of racists uh, don't get to define who we are as a country. Oh dear, that is embarrassing because it now turns out that a small group of racists do indeed get to define who Canadians are because that small group of racists actually includes the Prime Minister himself, or so he admits. You see, Trudeau when he was a teacher, dressed up in blackface or brownface, whatever you want to call it, for a party, a party with an Arabian Nights theme. And while that wasn't racist at the time, it is very, very racist now, according to the new rules of identity politics. So um, those are new rules endorsed by Trudeau himself, actually. So let's enjoy, at quite some length, watching Trudeau being eaten up by his own revolution. Watch him grovel. How deep he's got to grovel as he says sorry for having been such a disgusting racist. I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better, but I didn't. And I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have done it. I should have known better. Uh, it was something that uh, I didn't think was racist at the time, but now I recognize um, it was something racist to do, and I am deeply sorry. Um, I'm going to be uh, asking Canadians to forgive me for what I did. I shouldn't have done that. I take responsibility for it. It was a dumb thing to do. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm pissed off at myself for having done it. I wish I hadn't done it, but I did it. To make that communist-style self-criticism session even funnier was that he had to do it all over again in French as well, being Canada. Well, it's actually election time in Canada. Election's five weeks away, so Trudeau naturally has been smashed by all sides. The Conservatives called him a hypocrite and the Greens called him a racist, while other political leaders wailed about the evil of Trudeau's racist heart. Does that say about what he thinks about people who because of who they are, because of the colour of their skin, face challenges. What does it say about Trudeau's racism? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's the whole sick joke here. No one with half a brain truly believes that Trudeau, this woke bloke, was actually a secret racist all along. No one believes that. And by racist, I mean, does anyone seriously think that Trudeau has always despised people of other races? Races? <laughs> it's just... Trudeau was simply going to an Arabian Nights party, right? How on earth is that evidence that he looks down on Persians or on brown people or Iranians generally? Or that, that is not how identity politics works now. It is pitiless. It's about power. It's not about stamping out racism and trying to make us all alike. So there's Trudeau, caught by his own hideous identity politics standards, caught having to now publicly confess to being a racist, even when explaining how he'd actually fought racism all his life. It's mad. 
Uh, I have uh, worked all my life to try and uh, create opportunities for people to fight against racism and intolerance. Uh, and I can just uh, stand here and say that I made a, a mistake uh, when I was younger, and I wish I hadn't. I should have known it? better then, uh, but I didn't, and I did it, and I am deeply sorry for it. You got to laugh, but you know I think we're crazier than that, even right here, because in Australia we have had Australian children. Like, like when one blacks up their face, just to show how much they love, how much they worship, even a black football player, our race warriors scream that that is racist too, and so a child's tribute is damned instead as a racist insult. Do you remember the ludicrous, totally manufactured media outrage when a little girl blacked up to be more like AFL football star Nick Natanui? The headline on the story that ran those pictures? Outrage. The age. Outrage. Dear God. I mean, what happened to us simply looking into people's hearts and judging them by that. Who instead set up all these invisible wires, these trip wires, almost overnight, just to blow people up? Set these new tests so that something that no one thought racist yesterday suddenly becomes the most evil racism today, even though you actually know the guy that you've just blown up isn't racist at all. What an insane game.